Hey everybody, this is Pablo with Mattress Makers. I'm here with my brother Gabe. Hello. From Mattress Makers. And today on this episode of Anatomy of a Mattress, we are going to dissect the Dream Cloud mattress. So let's go. One of the more popular online beds, and I would say, Gabe, what would you say? What is the, the call that we get the most or that, the ads that we see the most? A lot of them is going to be the Dream Cloud. And luckily, we have a Dream Cloud to open up today. But yeah. Yeah, we get the Dream Cloud is one of those beds that if you've ever if you're ever on social media, you're probably seeing a Dream Cloud ad or on YouTube. They do advertise quite heavily, and actually, the Dream Cloud they're related with what's what other company are they related with? It's Nectar and then Aura. Aura. Yeah, yes. the the organic ones. They are the same company. Dream Cloud is like the inner spring version of like a Nectar type mattress. They're at least they're in the same family, same company. And what, what's the story on this one, Gabe? Yeah, so we had a customer that uh, bought the neck or the Dream Cloud mattress and had it for a couple of weeks, and and noticed that there was these de depressions in the mattress that were not going away from the moment she had it. You can see it's kind of lumpy. If you look into it, especially in the corners, it really crowns right over here at the top. So, just wasn't a comfortable mattress. Didn't feel like she was sleeping on a, a flat surface. And for her. So for her. And, for and, her, yeah. And, but you can also tell, right, just looking at it, it's, um, you know, there's some definitely some issues. So she wanted to replace it, and she ended up, uh, get, you know, letting us take this mattress off her hands. Yeah, I, I, I can kind of see from this angle, there's a little, and we could turn it around. It might be hard to see it on the camera, but you can see a little impression. And she and, wanted us to also open it up to shoot a video of it. So Yeah, yeah, she actually donated it for... For science, yeah. right? We're not here trying to bash on the mattress, you know, because the Dream Cloud could work for some people, you know, but for this customer, it just did not work for her. And we really want to see what's inside. This is kind of like, we see anatomy of a mattress, but also it's like a mattress autopsy. Let's open this bad boy up. First of all, let's get a measurement on, on this mattress. Because this mattress, how, how deep is this mattress? Let's check the specs. So let's see. what you want to do when you're measuring the mattress, what typically... No tip. Um, people do is when they measure it, they're just measuring it right here and they're saying, oh, it's about a 12, 13 inch thick mattress. Uh, but what you want to do is you want to put something flat on the top of it and you're getting the true height of it. So it's right about 15 inches. Um, so it's a pretty thick mattress. If you went with a standard way, what most people do, you're thinking 12, 13 inches. And then the reason why you want to really know the, the true uh, height of it is what type, you know, the size of your sheets, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Where it intersects is a good it will show you the true thickness of the mattress yeah. and um, this mattress in a queen size it retails for $11.99 and um, sometimes you'll see it on sale for 200 bucks off $9.99 and I think the king size I believe it retails for $14.99 and then with a $200 off coupon sometimes and then this is their standard dream cloud they do have a pillow top version the premier version but we have the standard version of it one thing you'll notice too is the Look how much gap there is right here. So sleeping on the edge of the bed, that's about two inches, right? So there's that, it crowns about two inches right at the edges. I mean, that does take away some of that, that sleep surface as well. Yeah, crowning, we say crowning, that's like industry speak, but it's more, you know, the, it kind of goes out, or out like this, you know? And yeah, that can be noticeable if you're sleeping on the side. Yeah, you might feel like you're rolling off the bed or sitting, you might feel like you're sitting. And that was, that was, her main complaint and just like looking at it, it is a nice mattress i mean you see yeah. the nice it's handles a beautiful looking and, mattress um, yeah they do a good job so that's the outside but let's take a look at what's on the inside cool and then and then um this mattress is where is this made at it is made made in oh, the uae uae so that's one thing is this is not a, a domestically made mattress it does come in a box shipped in a box i've seen them some made in uae some in other parts of the world so that has been one thing that has come up with customers there is a little bit of a difference in feel on some of these and so, not only that too though it's when you're compressing it that long right it's uh Coming in on a container on a ship, right? And if it's compressed that long, you will have the impressions and they may yeah. not completely bounce back. So I think that's what happened right here. Yeah, that's why that's why foam density is so important when we're talking about the quality of a mattress is the density of the foam. Let's open this bad boy up. I'm really curious to see, All right. you know, they, some of their specs are on their website, but I noticed a lot of these companies are taking away their specs. So that's why we do this. Watch out for you. So, all right. Watch out, I don't want to cut you. All right, so. I hate, sometimes I hate 
Let me get over here. With these beautiful mattresses, open these beautiful mattresses up because, but we're doing this for science, right? It's all for science. Okay, so what do we have here, Gabe? What, what is, this? going from the bottom up, let's go from the bottom of the support layer. So we always talk about the three parts of the mattress, right? The three parts typically, right? Um, the, you know, on this one, it's gonna be the, the support layer is the coils. These are, you can tell, the individual pocket of coils. What makes a good coil or what, what are things that you want people to look for in a coil? Because we get the question a lot. Right? Yeah. Coil count, how many coils are there? Right? Coil count, it can, nine times out of 10, take it as a grain of salt. A lot of times it means nothing. You know, the density or the thickness of the gauge of the coil is important, but you don't wanna to go too thick where it's gonna be um, too firm. And if you have, sometimes you'll see 2,000 coils in a mattress, but are those, what kind of coils are they? They're, they could be really tiny micro coils. So don't go by, by coil count. And we actually have a video on coils and we're gonna be doing another video on coils to go a little bit more depth in depth about coils. But a pocketed coil, they're good. I am more biased towards a pocketed coil, you know? Now, not all po pocketed coils are created equal. There is difference in quality in how much they flex, the give, because we've played around with different coil companies and found, you know, found ones that work better than others. But that's a plus. It does have coils at the edge, which I like it better than foam encasement. Mm -hmm. Some mattresses have foam encasement around yeah. the edge, which gives it a nice, firm, solid feel. But over time, it does dip even quicker and it does change the feel and it kind of cheapens the mattress. But having an edge, edge coil is actually it's a, it's a plus. I actually do like that. When we talk about coil gauge, it, what it refers to is that how thick is that wire? He got this new toy that he got from Amazon and now he's yeah. been like checking the gauge of I'm everything. I'm checking everything, checking the gauge on everything. So what we're gonna do is to check out the coil gauge is let's open it up. And so we're gonna see the thickness of the wire. So we get a lot of people, oh, what's a coil gauge? And, a lot of times those questions that we get, people read it on the internet, but they're not sure why they're asking that. So, yeah. um, and, and what that really means. So it's what it means, like the thickness of the wire. So this is, so it's a 13 gauge wire. So here's the thing with gauge two, the lower the number, the thicker the wire. And how they get the number is they'll line up like how many pieces of wire that can fit in one inch. So. With this 13 gauge wire, there's 13 pieces of steel of wire that can fit in one inch. So if you have a one gauge, that's like a one inch thick wire. If you have a 20 gauge, it's a thinner wire, which means that it's gonna be 20 pieces can fit in that. So that's a little bonus tip that as far as gauges. Not Would you say to... on the firmer side with the 13 gauge? 13 gauge, yeah, I would yeah. definitely say it's more on the firmer side. Yeah. You know, at least this is the edge. And we're gonna open this up a little bit more because some companies have firmer coils on the outside and thinner coils on the inside. So let's let's open this up a little bit more. All right. So the coils are about nine inches tall. So you get nine inches of that is gonna be from the, the support layer and the springs. Right above that is gonna be the foam, the foam padding. And kind of interesting to see what's, uh, what it looks like inside. And looking at the depressions, I mean, you can see it definitely more on the uh, on the corners or on okay. the edges. So what did we say we had? It's a nine inch it? coil. This is a nine inch coil, which is good. I mean, average, I, would, I mean, I see a lot of eight inch coils, but nine inch coils. Another little bonus for you, fabric that they use on top of the coil, we call it scrim. Just kind of keeps everything from falling through the coils. This little, little layer right here. This piece of foam, I don't know if they- Two layers glued together. Yeah, they're two layers glued together. And you can tell that they're different density or different firmnesses too. Yeah. So, the bottom layer, it feels like a super soft, which usually I would do the super soft more on the top, closer to the top. The softer layer, this is an inch. It feels like a super soft, which is like a 19 ILD, which that's a whole nother video, talk about firmness ratings on foam, you know, but that's just a firmness rating, which is on, definitely on the soft side. And that's just filling it with hands. It seems like it is just from, uh just from experience of the squishing. I mean, it might be a little bit higher, but it's it's just definitely a softer one than that, yeah. that top layer. Right above that, that's, that's glued on top. It's about an inch. That just didn't really respond well either. Yeah, like you can just... kind of see how they, I don't know if you could see, but I could kind of see how it's compressed. This is, if I were to do the autopsy, on, at least on this side, I would definitely say this middle layer is a weak link. We say a mattress is only good as the weakest link. You can have the best latex, 
You can have the best coils, the best foam, but if there's one weak layer in the bed, that's where you're gonna have the issue. It's gonna break down there. This is the panel. We call this the panel of the mattress. The panel, what is the panel effect? It, it affects the one, the, the initial feel of the mattress, right? Cause that's what you're gonna be on top of, but also yep. the cooling of it. It can hold the heat. It could, you know, feel, you know, a little cooler or warmer, you know, depending on like what it's, you know, how much materials inside of it and, and what the top layer is made of. So this is a stretch knit. This is a stretch knit, which is, feels like it's a pretty good quality stretch knit. And on the inside of the quilting, we you we see here, we got, this is called, I mean, it's Dacron. It's like a polyester type material that most mattresses are gonna be using. And then on, there is the quilted layer of foam inside here, which let me see if I can open this up just to see how much they use. So look, they have two layers that look like they're about an inch a piece. So yeah, yeah about two inches. Two, with the Dacron. So that gives it a little bit of the softness to it, that pressure relief. One thing we didn't talk about is the feel of this mattress. You know, with all this cushion, we have this, these three-ish inches with that memory foam on the top. Uh -huh. And then these two layers of, of foam on the top. This, But how does this feel? Yeah, you let's know? take a look. And Gabe, obviously, is the more He's the more no limber one out of us. I have a few more <laughs> years and pounds to jump up, so I don't think it'll take me. All right, so, All right. so how does this feel? Feels more firm, it's like a firmer mattress. 10 being the, the firmest, one being the softest, what would you say? I'd probably give this like a, I don't know, like a seven, eight. So kind of like a medium, medium firm. Medium firm. I feel sinking in a little bit. Um, I can t actually now tell what the customer was experiencing, kind of feeling a little bit, uh, you know, uneven. Yeah, I mean, it sinks in a little bit, but also has that firm, firm top layer. Okay. Maybe that's just that, that firm middle layer that we're feeling. And here's the thing, when it comes to uh, like reviews and firmnesses of mattresses, everybody's gonna have a different experience because everybody's body type's a little bit differently. So I tell people, just take it as a grain of salt. This gives you like an overall, just an idea of it. A 110 pound person is gonna feel a lot different than what are you, 250, 220? 230-ish on a good day? No. Uh, about 185. Yeah, so, but that gives you at least an idea of it. I would, you know, just filling it with my hands, I would say it feels, you know, like a medium firm, you know, but um, if you're looking for that nice, soft, plushy feel, this is not it. If you're looking for a little bit more feel, firmer feel, this may be something you might be interested in. We have something in our showroom that's very similar. I would say our Kensington would be the probably the closest thing to it. The right. Kensington medium or yeah. the, maybe the, the cushion firm would be closer to this. Feel wise, yeah, I, mean, I would say probably maybe a tad bit softer than our cushion firm. Yeah. Um, but it's not gonna have as much like material over, right? All these layers, like yeah. you would say, like less is more in a mattress, yes. as long as you're using the higher quality materials. But one thing too was that the coil gauge you mentioned on the outside, the perimeter. Oh, yes. It's a thicker gauge. Let's check the inside. On the inside. So we open this up and because you can actually see visibly see the differences in the type of coil too. Two outer rows are the blue. The other one, the outside perimeter, we said it was 13. And then this one is going to be the middle or where the sleep surface is at, where people are going to be sleeping is going to be so it's a 15 gauge wire. Which means it's thinner than the outer gauge. Yeah. Which is good. What you want it to be thinner, unless you're looking for a rock hard mattress, you want it to be thinner than the outer outer rows but that's what the inside of it looks like and uh, for a customer that was wondering what in the world happened it happened during like the roll packing of it being compressed for so long is all around the perimeter it's uh just depressed and the foam died it didn't didn't survive didn't survive that shipment definitely noticeable you can oh. see this firm foam piece is showing about an inch right here but it looks like it should have been two inches. Oh yeah. So it lost about an inch. You, you can just see the outline of the coils, how it just compressed. And here's one reason why this is happening. I'm gonna tell you why. Pick it up, but you see this discoloration here? This happens when there's like, a, um, when it's exposed to chemicals or like a liquid, but they drench it with glue. This is where they did a lot of the gluing at the edge, it looks like, because, well, because of this discoloration and how it compresses, Doing that can really affect the, the integrity of the foam. It will actually cause the foam to break down a lot faster, any type of like excessive moisture or liquid on it. And the glues will do that at times. 
So there is better ways on on applying the glue. And this is where the edges that she was complaining the most about. But look how much it goes down. This is about 14 inches in on the corners. I mean, it just goes in. So without the edge, without, you know, without a cr crowning and without that, I mean, or with it, you have only about less than a full size mattress to work with. And for a couple, that's, that's not good. That is our autopsy report for the Dream Cloud standard mattress. If you guys have any questions, you can always give us a, give us a call at one of our stores. Most likely you'll be t speaking to one of us. Um, and we, you know, happy to help you answer any of your mattress uh, questions. Yeah, we also have a guide um, at the, uh, I think at the link below, we do have a mattress guide too. It gives you tips on mattress shopping. It goes a little bit more in depth and mistakes not to make when mattress shopping too. So you, you could either download it from the link or from our website. And yeah, hopefully this helped you guys. Yeah, thanks for watching.